फर्स्टली आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग इट माई सेल्फ बट वट बीच में इट वॉज डिमोटिवेटिंग फॉर आई टाइम सो आई टुक कोडिंग ब्लॉक्स पैटर्न वॉज नेक्स्ट वर्किंग एंटीट्यूड सम एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चन and it was like uh, 45 to 1 hour test and we had a, a one coding problem and uh, yeah. up to to here uh, we had uh, what else oops concept and that output separate uh, hey everyone welcome riya di who is software engineer intern at cisco and ex intern at zomato so let's start this video with her introduction hello everyone i am a final year student at igdtw and uh, i am graduating with uh, branch mechanical and automation engineering and i'm currently interning at cisco congratulations ji let's start okay. the video so my first question is like what was the eligibility for the cisco eligibility criteria so cisco visited our campus around uh, july and uh, it hired through two ways like code with cisco that thing and uh, on campus so mine was on campus and it was uh, open for all the branches and for mechanical and automation it was open for uh, earlier it was open for uh, consulting and technical consulting only but when we uh, went through the screening round they shortlisted the candidates based on their marks and resume okay the next coming to how was your dsa journey like as coming from ma background was it very tough for you to start the dsa and uh, how you prepared for which which sheet you followed which course you took all about your dsa journey okay so i started like anyone who start maybe just going in and seeing what works for you and surely mechanical and automation i was not that much uh, i would say uh, i was not that much into mechanical gears and all that but yeah surely we had dsa in our first semester and later we had oops and other concepts of uh, this in like in our college it's not purely mechanical it's automation only so you get uh, the some touch of ml ai and all these things so surely coding interested me and i took uh, firstly i started doing it myself but uh, what beach me it was demotivating for at time so i took uh, coding blocks for uh, one life course i did my coding there i referred to gfc the code was very religiously following all these platforms and uh, giving contest on code chef for courses works for you but i would say just pick two three most important links that work for you for example for me it was read code on daily and code chef on uh, like weekly contest that they give and uh, code forces for like up solving or forge you can refer to sometimes for cp yeah that was it and first i cleared my basic and then went to like computer co- competitive examining and all that stuff and later figured out that what's needed for like company specific things like oop or uh, the core subjects of it you can go through it now month or so and uh, it will help you uh, also there is one site uh, interview bit we can uh, just shortlist the, t- uh, the company and get the required amount of questions you want to okay the next from into your resume how you made it and what are the tips from your side for the juniors to make the resume okay so i the first resume i made was uh, uh, during the that session strategy we have a club in our college so you get the mentorship of your seniors to craft one resume but later you figure it out that what the ideal resume that you need to put in the ats scanner and get a good ats score so you can definitely i think you should uh, first do it in a word document or you can i personally use word document or overly for it uh, it works overly is a good thing next coming to what was the oe pattern for this cisco okay. so for cisco the oe pattern was uh, next working execute some aptitude questions uh, and it was like uh, 45 to 1 hour test and we had a, a one coding problem 
and uh, aptitude okay uh, we had uh, what else oop concept and that output uh, separate as you mentioned like uh, there were questions related to networking so what it computer networks uh, computer organization architecture uh it was like a theoretical concept also and some of the like that solving codes together how much knowledge you have about that okay next coming to your interview experience how many rounds were there for this esco was it tech plus hr or only tech okay so when i had the interview for cisco i was interning at zomato at that time so uh, it was it started early morning and uh, i had three rounds of interview first was a technical interview with a software engineer and it went pretty well it was around 45 minutes and uh, he just went through all the concept that i mentioned to the resume so make sure whatever you mention in your resume uska in depth knowledge you have acche se so that if anyone asks you about it you are very pretty much clear about what you have in your resume second thing i would say is uh, don't over exaggerate on what you have done or just say it with numbers like for me what i have done in zomato uh, when you mention the numbers they that highlights in your resume so one thing is this that uh, how much features you have done or what how much amount of uh, time even if your project is like personal you can just mention the uh, numbers that this amount of time has been increased because of this feature that you have added this works and uh, yeah we had uh, all the things like sql to sql to the i had one uh, coding problem that was pretty early so it's like one year so that was a mixed concept of queues caching that thing so yeah it was it the second round i had was a managerial round with two of the managers it was one hour 15 minutes now uh and uh, that was like started with the cognitive thing cognitive and aptitude they gave me some puzzles to solve then we moved to like backtracking and dp questions and you have to share the screen and show that you are good with it then i had uh, some questions related to the zomato project itself like the concepts of it and uh, you have to explain like what is microservice and monolith but the, whatever you have done that shows if that flex in your resume you should be very good at it uske baad fir that's it and then we moved to the managerial round that was why you want to join this so and uh, what are all the things that you like as a software engineer this question also that uh, you are from mechanical and why would uh, like to switch to a software so yeah i told him that this is what i enjoy doing and yeah, that's my feel also that was compensation also for a thoda but that was on campus so mostly fixed uh he grilled on some parameters you have to be like for manager down you can refer to gfc and uh, yeah you should be very neutral also sometimes you should not be very biased or judgmental about things just have an open mindset towards everything that's it okay bhi Uh, last thing I would like to ask: Do's and don'ts from your side to suggest to the junior. Okay. So do's and don'ts in technical round, like in technical round also, or in the general. Okay. So in technical round, I would say don't panic because the interviewers also understand that you are getting interviewed and they're very friendly towards you and they would always. want you to do better so that you can get into it so yeah first thing is don't panic also uh, don't take too much things at once just go for like small buckets of things and you will be good to go with them also uh, keep learning always keep learning you are never perfect like software engineers are never perfect or cannot be called a good software engineer if you are not learning each day So yeah, you should have that mindset that I have to get better every day, even if I'm not getting opportunity right now. For example, in my case, I was from uh, mechanical, so I did not add all the companies open for me. But whatever I get, 
just go for it and do your best that's good instead of just uh, panicking and fumbling ki yaar company nahi aa rahi hai aise nahi ho raha so it's better to just have what you have in your place and make the most out of it and in general also this is a key that i would give